Hi, everybody. I wanted to hop on here and do a quick art journal spread. Um, I've been working off and on in this composition notebook. It's kind of the place I go to hide out um, when I am getting overwhelmed um, or I just need to do something. This is a piece I completed. I got these collage sheets, uh, printables from an artist I connected with on Instagram um, named the account name is Moyana I think I'm pronouncing that right I will um, tag them below they have a YouTube channel but there's also um, other ways to follow their work um, anyways I've done some art journal pages here with like paint and whatnot um, and I thought it would be fun I got these printables so I pulled out some little pieces and I'm just gonna make like a fun little art journal spread real quick in here. Um, another thing that I've been doing, um, these pages are some printables I'm going to be um, uploading for um, my May Patreon subscribers. Um, it is definitely the master board um, idea that I think it was February and June um, they had a YouTube video um, inspired by a reel where they went through it. They did it on a um, in a telephone book, um, and I don't have one, but I had this book, and I was feeling really uninspired. And so I started just glue. I have all these pieces that I haven't been able to find a place for, and I've started getting a little overwhelmed with my collection of pieces of paper. So I just started throwing pieces down. Then I I did play with some inks. Um, on this one um, but I'm just it's yeah February and June they like I said they shared this idea of like a master board book um, and that's kind of what I did I threw some stickers on there um, yeah I started off adding like inks over top of it and then I decided just to leave them alone and um, I scanned them in and I'm going to be using them in my um, sketchbook a little bit to make some art because um, I'm gonna like cut them up and rearrange them um, and I'll probably do a video doing at least one sketchbook page like that but I also wanted to share it um, I think they're fun backgrounds to use in art journals or in your regular everyday journal you can cut them up in like strips or shapes or tear them or whatever so that's the only other thing I have in here um, here is where I had, I think I set a painting on here to dry. So the reason I love, one of the reasons that I love composition notebooks is that they hold like special memory for me, but they also are not a place that's like overly sacred. Um, I don't feel super attached to making everything like perfect and making it look a certain way and like pushing that perfection narrative, right? So anyways, the first thing I'm going to do is my favorite thing to do right now is play with the inks that I got. Um, it took me a while before I actually got um, any ink to play with and I am obsessed. So I am just doing this as a first layer and then I will like come back and film the second layer after it dries. Um, this is just something that has made me happy lately. And as I said, I've been having, I've been going through like these spurts where I'm either really inspired or I'm really depressed and uninspired. So I've recently connected with some art, new artist friends on Instagram um, who have inspired me lately. Um, I've been getting a little bit more um, into my fiber art. I spent like three days straight working on a weaving that's just been sitting on my loom for ages. Um, and that has been really exciting. And I've been playing with um, dyeing some fabrics and thinking about, um, you know, kind of like more textile type projects I can do and wanting to learn how to quilt. Um, all stuff that I've wanted, but I always like reevaluate based on like what I think I can handle because I have small kids. Um, sometimes it's just hard. Anyways, I'm just gonna spread this around because I'm really just wanting to like 
make a background and fill up the page. I'm sure this is not the technical way to do this, but the purple is kind of overpowering everything here. Um, anyways, we have um, had a busy couple weeks in our house after Eloise's surgery. We all fell very, very ill with a stomach bug and then things kind of calmed down and now um, she's back on the nebulizer and um, off and on uh, due to her allergies and things have just been every time it calms down you you know you think that you think that you're gonna catch up and then uh, something else happens or explodes so um, anyways they went camping my kids went camping this evening with their grandmother because everybody was with their grandmother with their grandma and grandpa um, everybody was feeling good today and the weather was nice at least it was earlier and uh, gave me and my husband a chance to catch a break and catch up on things and I really just wanted to get into my office and work on some pages so I haven't actually sat here and like worked on a full art journal page in a minute. I am going to let this dry and then hop back on here. Okay so we are back. Um, this is dry mostly anyways. Um, and I wanted to make some extra marks here and I can't really decide. I think the pink didn't really show up so I think I'm gonna do like some triangles. And these could end up being covered up by like what I plan on putting down but it's just like some extra texture, extra something, something in the background. Um, so that's, I mean, it is what it is. If it ends up getting covered up, like it's just triangles, right? Um, I actually talked about it, this in another video that I just filmed, um, about these paint markers, but they were from Target and, um, they're not like super fancy and I haven't had luck with all of them, but I've had luck with a lot of them. And so... Um, if you looking, if you're looking for like inexpensive paint markers, there's a lot of color selection. Um, I've not hated them. So I have another piece here from Moyana. Um, this is a printable that they offer and I love this like spunky, uh, little person bird. Anyways, they are dancing. Um, and kind of like given this little attitude look and I really enjoyed this um, printable pack and I chose the dancing one because if you guys have read my sub stack at all you know that dance shows up a lot for me because um, it's something that I've like wanted to do um, since I gave it up as a kid. Um, I would like to say that I have been successful in moving my body more, but I have not been. Um, I was actually talking to my husband about that uh, because throughout my life as a person with a undiagnosed ADHD, I struggled a lot. Um, unbeknownst to me, it was issues with ADHD. I thought it was just issues with like, you know, there's a lot of shame and whatever um, associated with that because there's like a lack of follow through, you lose interest in things, things don't get finished, you don't do things that you say you're gonna do. Um, so I thought it was like a lack of discipline. Um, uh, you know, the term lazy got used quite a bit um, towards myself and by others. So um, I think that it is something that is definitely I don't know, it's definitely like played a part in my ability to like follow through on things. So anyways, my journey with dance has been that um, I used to be like a very athletic person when I was like younger. Um, even after I did like dance classes and I had given that up, I was um, 
you know, I played basketball and soccer and volleyball and track. I did all the things and then slowly but surely they all kind of like tapered off out of my life. Um, I stopped playing soccer after my first year in college. Um, I played for the college team and then I stopped. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Ever since then, I have uh, had a very hard time getting any type of consistent body movement practice um, introduced into my life. You know, there's a lot of nuance with that um, as far as like how we talk to ourselves and the inner dialogue and like what we feel we should be doing because society makes us feel like we should be doing it. Um, and even though I have a pretty um, healthy body image now, um, I still don't move my body a lot other than like interacting with my kids and doing things with them, which is exhausting in and of itself. Um, when I went on my ADHD medication, I actually lost like 50 ish pounds, um, and kind of like leveled out at like my neutral weight. It's been like my neutral weight for most of my adult life. Um, and so I think that has been interesting um because i do find more ease in moving but i still don't find myself like pushing myself so i have been talking i even wrote a couple pieces about it about how i really want to just like start doing like a free dance um i know that it is helpful in shadow work i know that it is helpful in you know getting to know ourselves and somatic healing and things like that and i spent a long time cleaning up my office it is mostly clean-ish now. Like I could clear out the middle of the floor and actually dance if I wanted to. And I do want to, and I just find myself not doing it. Um, yeah, I don't know what that block is necessarily, but there we are. So I saw, when I saw this printable and I saw the character was dancing, I knew that it was for me. This was the one that I wanted to work with today. Um, you know, my kids are camping right now, and I've actually got some time. And see, like, I spent all this time, like, kind of moving this cut out around trying to figure out exactly the perfect place and then as soon as like the other pieces are down I just like plopped them down exactly I just did it you know um I'm a very intuitive person when it comes to these like to creativity and just like build up things in my head and it just turns out that I just need to do it my way so there you have that Um, so I'm just throwing things down. There's not really any rhyme or reason to it, um, other than what feels good. And I think that that is my favorite rule of journaling, not even a rule because we don't have rules, but especially art journaling, it's just supposed to be something that feels good, something that's fun to do, something that looks good, that you're excited about. And I am just excited to be back in my composition notebook, actually doing something that I enjoy. I'm excited to spend an evening in my office. I'm excited to record these videos that I'm working on. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of fluidity with my schedule. Um, and my schedule is not often determined by me. It is determined a lot by other people. So it feels good to have this evening to create with all of you. Um, so I just imagine like these little dots and bubbles as like energy as she's dancing and getting funky and um, you know, there's no rhyme or reason to it because there's no rhyme or reason to anything really. Things just happen and are 
I've been reading a lot of like, um, I've been reading some interesting stuff this week. I finished the, I talked about this in the other video too, but it's like fresh in my mind. I finished the um, Monk and Robot series by Becky Chambers. It has like seriously impacted like a lot of my views on certain things. And I just, um, yeah, now it's, you know, everything just is, everything just moves and I don't know. I'm also a little tired, so I might just be loopy. I've got a little bit, a little piece of this glittery star fabric, which is like calling to be used. Um, I don't always incorporate, I wonder if this would work. Yeah, we're gonna go with it. I don't always incorporate fabric in what I do. Um, but I do enjoy like the tactile feeling of it and how it looks um, coming off. Anyways, so yeah, I'm working with some different cutouts. Um, I have some of my own um, that I just uh, printed this uh, weekend and that I shared about and some things will be uploaded to my Patreon uh, that I'm excited about. And yeah, I think that is just about everything. There's a certain marker that I'm looking for here. There it is. This is my favorite marker from this brand. Like I said, I might go over the triangles now, but that's okay. Um, I feel like we needed a crown. You know? Um dancing queen energy and maybe some more outlines but metal make a metallic right um anyways i think this is about it for me with this spread um i kind of like how you know this focal point here um and the energy coming off of her and like the fun fluid energy of it so um boyana has uh these printables and more available in their etsy shop um different packs and cutouts and things they also have prints they're a very talented artist so please go check that out if that calls to you um i will put a link to everything below um and you know the link to all my stuff is also going to be below and I am grateful that you decided to come on this journaling journey with me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Okay, bye.